in the class on materials, you studied about scene rendering, and now you will learn about some rendering options in 3D designs. Open the rendering dot max scene. In this scene, there are some objects which artistically display still life scenes. See, there is a viewport configured for showing the point of view from this camera. Select it and then click. There are two types of rendering in Max. Access the rendering menu, Render, to enable preview rendering. This type of rendering does not affect the quality settings of the image, but it does affect the behavior of all the elements present in the scene, such as objects, lights, etc. Preview rendering requires fewer tools to process the rendered image. This is the render screen, known as the rendering frame window. Close this screen in order to view other settings. Final rendering is the second type. Final rendering as well as applying default settings, requires higher quality settings for analyzing and demands more powerful hardware. When doing final rendering, a name is defined for the output file and the number of frames to be used. So let's see an example of final rendering. Define the rendering settings on the rendering menu, Render Setup. See how the current render settings are divided into tabs. Look here on the common tab. Define the number of frames in the rendered scene in the time output option. Our design is for a still life image, so we only need to use a single option. The other settings create animation based on each frame sequence. Down here in Output Size, you define the size of our image. Select the NTSC TV option from the flyout box. Now we can select one of the size format options. Let's choose 720 by 480 as the size. This format is compatible with a DVD image size. And now we will choose a place for saving the file. Access Output Render. Click Files. Look for the course folder in the Render Output File dialog box. Name the file Still Life. This command does not apply to preview renderings. In the View option, let's select Camera Render. Now we can see the final results after rendering the scene. So, in this class, you study the main render settings on the Max Scan line. It is necessary to learn much more about rendering tools, as they are essential in achieving enhanced display in designs. Remember to get impressive images, you have to know how to select materials, lighting and rendering settings.
This kind of acquired knowledge ensures beautiful images.